One, two. Hmm, we're getting all these new quests, Tangs. When I've already had the quest, it's really weird. And it didn't didn't happen earlier. It's only been happening now. But yeah, I think I've been losing world tier progress due to dying. I just didn't notice because I was too busy dying. Someone's been here. <laughs> yep, I was going to say recent, but how recent? This recent. Damn snipers. Ooh, you lose a fair chunk. Jesus. I might never move beyond World Tier 6. Four twenty, blaze it.
looks like some old reports. Boris Morrison's journal. I built these walls. I know every inch of them. I can't stare at them one m more minute. Back at the beginning, it wasn't hard to convince us. Hell, it was the best offer anyone made us since we thawed out. I mean, we're outriders. That still meant something then. We're supposed to be fucking heroes. Sarah and her big brain had it figured out. Plans for food, water, septic, septic and power. She even figured out systems for companionship between the seven men and three women batshit crazy enough to embark on this perpetual mission. Uh, but for me, I wasn't no hero. Frankly, I was ready to find a hole and climb into it. I mean, it didn't take a genius to see that humans' chances of avoiding extinction were di uh, dimming every day, and here we had a chance to do something meaningful regarding the most important thing in the world. So days turned into weeks, and those we turned into years and decades, and I was good. Every, uh, every word of every book we brought down into this hole. It took years for help Sergio turn seeds he brought from Earth into viable vegetation capable of photosynthesis. Though to some Mercer to read and write. That was enough for me, or so I thought. So with Sarah, sweet Sarah. I found my, want myself wanting to be with her more than the allotted every other Wednesday on the schedule. Suddenly she was all I thought about. Woke all the feelings that pushed deep down inside of me so that I could live in this hole. I don't have that feeling for a while. As time by what went by, there were fewer and fewer of us. One day Mercer just up and left. Sergio went and chased after him, leave me alone with Sarah. I thought to myself, finally, this is my chance. Uh, I confess how I felt that I wanted life with her, but she wouldn't hear any of it. I live my life, she said. I don't want another one. Now, and now, years after building my cage, I finally felt like a prisoner. I have to get out. I'm just going to leave for a day. Just smell the air. Just see human faces I don't recognize. There was a new outpost just starting up near the, near here, after they evacuated the industrial zone. They're calling it Trench Town. wonder how it will look after all these years. wonder if I'll ever come back here. I can get a hard point of it, but god, that would be shit. That would feel, you know, feel shit to hear. Every other Wednesday? Passing them about. Huh. But, well, apparently that was actually. That was actually her idea. So. Fetish. Must be. Oh god. Oh god. Someone was saying they'd seen some weird fetish, and I'm not sure which. They mentioned a, an anime girl car name. Well, they mentioned a name. And it's either the maid. The, sorry. The shrine maiden from Tuhu. Or, you know, the. Uh, the idol game. But it's. Um, IDOL. It's all idol singers and whatnot. One of them is a Menhera archetype. Um, she's like pill earrings. I think they have a similar enough name, or it's close enough if you don't know how this. Yeah, like if you don't really know the names. Um, one of them. Someone apparently drew art of one of them tattooed with like how many abortions she's had. Some weird de de degradation, dehumanization art. I remember seeing one stuff before of a character from uh, Girls Frontline. Might have been P90? I can't remember. Uh, some chick, anyway. There was a series of them. I saw a bit of it, then a different bit. Uh, but one of the bits was just was weird and shit, but... Okay, I don't know why it's pointing me in the wrong direction. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, might have been P90. But yeah, uh, the, wor the second one, the worst of the two, it's coming back to me earlier, I didn't even remember the first one. Uh, the second one has her kneeling next to a crouching tall. You know, the ones they have in Asia. Ne would never use them. Sorry. No. Uh, God, it would just kill my OCD. It really would.
plus it would be murder on the knees. Oy. Um, but it yeah, has her kneeling next to one. Uniform on the ground. Or her outfit on the ground. And as the series of pictures go on, she gets more drawn on, pissed on. Her uniform's kicked into the thing. And while she was hot at the start, towards the end I was just like, I want to give her my coat, shower her down, and, you know, just... It, it, it spawned less arousal, more protective instincts. Like, Jesus. The first one ultimately was a bust up thing. Um, boob expansion, but with a weird, I guess, degradation vibe to it as well. Fuck if I can remember. I. The only reason I even saw it was the person did good girls' front line art and whatnot, and. Uh, of the stuff I'd seen early on? It was like the weirdest I think they had was like the. Uh, you know, the womb tat uh, tattoo thing. Which, you know, it's not the worst out there. But then suddenly they, they spun into that one. They may have also been the one that did had like, a chick breastfeeding puppies while simultaneously getting fucked by the uh, puppy's father. Yeah. They also showed an internal shot. Fucking nom vet after that one. I kept, like, I'd see some, like, giant beast in FF14, and I was like, oh shit! It's flashing before my eyes again. Intrusive uh. thoughts here. Not fun. I found some kind of hidden bunker with an Outrider insignia painted on the floor. I thought all the Outriders had died long ago. I guess some of them ended up here, but why? And where are they now? Again, the one thing I dislike about games is you find journals that explain things, but your characters don't really acknowledge them. It, it's again to limit the amount of dialogue they have to record, because they would have to record that dialogue, and th that you just heard there, and a new one. For if you had read the journal. So, yeah, it's... Ugh. It annoys me. Because I just... I've read the journal. You know, I want to hear what he's. The other thing he says. Though I guess part of me will be annoyed about not hearing Boat then. But yeah, I've seen some shit, man. Oh. It just closed again. But yeah, it just ended up spurring in uh, protective instincts. Then there's apparently even worse out there of fucking, uh, you know, abortion tattoos. Like, Jesus. Like, I'm not near, I'm far too sober for this. There we go. I knew the guy who wrote this journal, Sergio Acosta. He was down here long enough to raise a son. And that bunker? For his entire life. Kid's name was Murph. He bugged out. Acosta went searching for his son in the forest. They have those little nods, but then they have to him actually reading the notes, but then they have then they have the other way. It's uh, my mission was clear when Sarah and I dug this hole, built these doors, and locked ourselves down here. There has to there has been much bloodshed. Yes, there had been atrocities on both sides, but I still believe the last humanity could find a way to come together. President Nyberg and the Council ordered me and my team to do. I don't have to insert the EC. I had no right to give that order. They have no right to that power over anyone. Sarah and I escaped the first city, but with her little boy Mercer. And the last of the Outriders. 
fortified ourselves underground in the hope of giving mankind its best possible chance turning this new world around. Those first years were the happiest of my life. I was down there, charged with the glory and gravity of our mission. We were like a big, happy family, with young Mercer as a constant source of joy. But as we grew o older, the quarters grew more cramped. As the years crawled on, we began losing our minds little by little. Morrison was first to go rogue. Sim uh, Simansky soon after. And the day came that Sarah and I dreaded. The day our Mercer finally disappeared out the front door. I don't blame him, but I also know he won't make it out there. He literally grew up in a hole in the ground, believing the world no longer existed. It was nothing but the depravity of humanity. That survival skill to his name. It was better than to head civ towards civilization, but knowing him, he led to the forest. Though he's heard countless stories about the forest, from my own time in there and from others, I know he wants to try and see the world beyond. That's even scarier. Let's go find him before it's too late. Treasure and Vic are going to help me. I'm convinced, I convinced Sarah to stay in the bunker and continue the mission for, uh, until I return, if I return. We've given enough for humanity. Now I have a new mission. I did come to care and see for him, uh, see him as his own son. Even if they were, uh, wasn't biologically his. Which is weird. That can be a hard thing to do. Not that I can say I have any experience in uh, any front there. For Sergio or Mercer Costa. Lady, there's an enforced door here, locked. Whatever they were defending, it's beyond this point. I'm guessing that Costa took the key with him. I hear some freaks in here. So yeah. Since there's two other doors there, might have to bounce between them. Uh like I go get the key. I I came here. I have to go get the key. I come back here. I do a little more. I may have to leave again and you know bounce about bounce about a bit. It's annoying how much progress you lose for one dad. expeditions. We made camp. Dr. Jacqueline Fresco, September 2159. We've made camp here in the quarry for the night. The last piece of friendly territory we'll see for a long time, or perhaps, God forbid, for the last time. We enter for us tomorrow at dawn. With Dr. Zahidi's help, we've taken as many precautions as we can to face whatever's thrown at us. Personal oxygen tanks combine, combined with an airtight seal applied to our helmets and pressure suits. Give us an estimated 36 hours to search for the source of the signal, or better yet, find what lies on the other end of the forest. But of course, with no maps, no one knows how far this forest stretches. We follow in the footprints of three other expeditions, three missions that fail to return. Where we may face, find a similar fate, but sometimes I dare to ho foolishly hope that we may find them still alive out there, having found safety on their sides, to living in peace, and doing all they can to bring us the good news. Hmm. I was thinking that possibility. Maybe it was just too nice there for anyone to go back, and they can't exactly contact anyone. Notes. Carvel Disaster. Disaster in our skies! Article. Year 2075. Around the world, millions sold the explosion of light up in the sky earlier this week. On the day of its maiden voyage, the caravel suffered catastrophic engine failure as a result of an inexplicable chain reaction that nearly destroyed the entire ship. Speculations on the causes of the disaster has been rife, fueled further by the UCA's refusal to comment on any of the rumors. The authorities' official story claims it was down to a human error, a series of poor judgments made by the crew that introduced a spark in the fuel line that led to the premature ignition of the caravel's entire fuel supply. Certain. 
independent experts, however, uh, including a former engineer who contributed to the building of Carville, insist that the ship was equipped with multiple contingency me measures to safeguard against such disasters. They speak of contingent conspiracy to sabotage Carville and delay its launch. Perhaps as a warning to the ECA, though their plan may save humankind, it condemns billions to their deaths. So they murder people and can do condemn even more to their deaths? Okay, I want to pistol whip whoever did that now. What is certain is that many leaders and factions around the world have already judged ECA incompetent and are fully embroiled in power plays over the control of the floating city and SM forests, the last pieces of refuge and her dying home. I really wish I didn't remember that weird, you know, you know, the last one I mentioned, the breastfeeding. Yeah, I wish I didn't remember that one. Well, it was more the animal fucking, but yeah, it's like, I, I don't need that before my eyes. Ah. Just like yet another builder thing down here. Or. Uh, most paranoid saying certain words because I, I can. S I sometimes swear my speech while I'm talking, apparently. And I'm just paranoid. I, you know, I may swear particular words, but. Seems they got some machines down here doing work. They really got to work quickly before the storms hit. Sadly, it wasn't quick enough. Well, this should be interesting. Count me in. Slaver. After hundreds of thousands were working from were woken from crowd sleep in spa uh, space in the first city was very limited. Most were forced to live outside the walls in temporary housing that over time evolved in slums. Those privileged enough to live inside the city, live within the city walls became highly protective of their precious space, treated those outside with contempt. Upon learning that several slum dwellers climbed walls overnight, uh, uh, under cover of night, Popa and others came together to form a vigilante militia that patrolled the walls, watching for anyone smuggling their way over, then capturing and holding them in cages. Popa, however, went that step further and practiced his aim with a silenced sniper rifle. Militia group was eventually arrested by the ECA and imprisoned. When the ECA moved to Rifttown, Popa was executed. Popa, Bo sorry, Popa was excluded. Popa, but betrayed by the ECA, and started hunting down the judges who sentenced him. After killing two of them, he was forced to flee. He defected to the insurgents soon after. Popa has been in charge of the quarry since the last insurgent takeover. Some say the Scalp King's name originated from his canny ability to hand clean headshots. Others believe it's the slaves he keeps, whose scalps he brands with his own name, and he forces them to obey his every whim. Ah, oh, damn detonator. You real? Think so. How long you been here? <laughs> Days. Weeks. Lost count. Fucking insurgents flooded in and murdered all the miners. We were supposed to be the neutral down here. I managed to hide, but these sons of bitches lined up my men. I slit their throats like fucking cattle. <sighs> I had a plan. I had a fucking plan. Explosives in the elevator shaft. You're gonna bury them alive down there. Yeah, but... It's not working. The line... Oh, the line's got somewhere. Maybe you can repair. 
I'll repair the line. Hang tight. Did you find where the line is broken? It's the only thing stopping this plunger from working. Boom. Ah, music to my ears. Robbie grew up in the mines of Earth, providing the resources that fed the construction of Caraval and the SM Force. His gold mineral and metal extraction, and his experience in managing the people and machines that carried out the mining, earned him a place in the ship. On Enoch, after the anomaly rendered the, great, uh, the giant excavators inoperable, Jarabi was forced to relearn the trade. He and his fellow miners had no choice but to mine by hands for weeks on end, sleeping the quarries or tunnels, braving the risk of cavens, pushing through injury and illness to get the job done. It was this common suffering and reliance on each other that brought Jarabi and the other miners together. Now, as the only survivor of a mining operation in the quarry, this miner has been biding his time to get revenge on the insurgents that kill his people. Gravely wounded as he is, though, he can't see uh, sees revenge true on his own. How long have to be in the mines cut off? I thought they were cut off for years. Or was it just... cut off enough that they couldn't engage in the... trying to... trying to cannibalize the machines for the materials. I have no idea anymore. What were you mining for down here anyway? Any metal resources we could find to support the colonization. And after that, the war effort. It was backbreaking, but we made it work. We were mining to keep our people alive. Corrigan's people protected us. It worked. Like he makes it sound like it's recent, but then the other guy was saying that the mines, the quarry has been cut off for years, so people wouldn't have salvaged, salvaged the batteries. So, what is it? Oh yeah, follow the cable. I'll do this one. Then I might call quits.
guess that's proof that what I was doing there is no TT. What exactly am I looking for here? The spot where the lion's been blasted apart. You got to piece it back together again for it to work. Um, uh, you know, having the boat explosions on shot. I'm glad that that didn't. Uh... Oh, all right, right there. And it's even got tape on it already. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, you know, having the kill shots both blow people up and release explosives. That's um, actually working out for me. G kill the guy there, and I think we uh, a guy or two there might weaken another or something. Raising a container. Guess we're checking the whole line. Uh, Set first introduced you to Moloch when he um, first introduced Moloch when he shared his vision and a powerful altered fighting for the insurgents. He warned you against trying to face him, but after Moloch destroyed Set, it appears you may have no choice. Moloch's powers seem to have twisted him to a wretched being, very recognizable as human. Judging by Set's carbonization, Moloch wields fire with frightening skill. No one else among the EAC ECA seems to know about Moloch or the tread he poses. I could become because. Yeah. Likely because none of them have survived laying eyes on him. You defeat Moloch during you encounter Moloch during the sea, uh, so, uh, during the assault across Trench Town. He defeated you in battle and is now at large. It seems clear that Moloch is insane. There's little allegiance to insurgents' calls, and only fights for them to satisfy whatever cryptic, depraved cause he's pursuing. Moloch seems to carry a shriveled man on his back, crucified to a cross like harness, but still somehow alive. Is he a prisoner forced to suffer witness to all the death and destruction the Elder leaves behind? Or could it be that this vestigial person is somehow in control, the real Moloch, using a mindless meat pop as its, as its vehicle? I was meaning to switch quests. Ooh, purple. Dome. Do it. It's a good stun. Nice. Piss off, mate. Assassin's boots. Like I'm kind of denying. Can you fix it? I want 
blow this place sky high. Yeah, I can fix it. Hold off the fireworks till I'm back. I'm starting to feel like I'm going to deny him his vengeance, though. Uh, just with the amount I've killed. There's probably still more down in the mines, toiling away. Well, it's a good thing they didn't even really notice this. Eh, just random extension cable. Hey, the line looks good. Hey, you still there? Shit, I need to get back to him. you to miss the fireworks thank god oh, could you we'll do it together They have him alive again so he can redo the quest, but uh, yeah, he's dead. And ever near is suitably unexploded. <sighs> kind of takes away from it, doesn't it? <laughs> dead. Every single one of them. Hell, at this point, I'm pretty sure everyone I ever knew is dead and gone. Makes me feel more ghost and man haunting this desolation. And I feel that way even if I wasn't and I feel that way even if I wasn't dying. The last one to remember all those souls, not all good, not all bad. But all of them were more than these butchering bastard fucks down below. They've called down the thunder vengeance. Now they're gonna hear it. At this stage, I'm thinking the only way humans are going to survive is if they can get cloning bays online. Oh, and sort of the prion disorder.
Okay, I feel a little weaker right now. I might need to upgrade my weapons yet again. Then something like that happens. Oh, we've got to see the explosions that time. Wow, uh, are they charged, or do they have the golem effect going on? Oh, that's nice. Even odds. Ooh, long range and close range damage boosts. Damn it. Wow. The last time, and I'm just gonna call it quits and go to bed.
yeah, I'm calling it here. Hitting another wall. 